What is up guys, welcome back to I'm So Craigie and today I am in Madrid. Actually more specifically I'm in Aranjuez, which is a tiny little town to the south of Madrid. If you've heard of Skydive Madrid, if you've done a tandem here or if you're a skydiver yourself, you definitely know Aranjuez. That's why I'm here, I've been doing some skydiving. Check out this footage. Forget the money, uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Yeah. Everybody from the front to the back, out of space Cause the club's kinda packed, how the bass Got the subs in the rack, out of place From the drums on the track in your face It kinda move like a blur, if you're feeling the track Then I do concur, warm pace With Captain K-Lab on a spearhead Like Captain Ahab, I'm a level 35 funk soul paladin Specializing in astral time traveling, the mic's men, not the one to be battling. Unless you want me to bring the any matter in. We on a mission to retake the funk, to beat bass and bump. So keep pace with us, get your Adidas and relay them up. Cause we gave you fair warning, now we're chasing up. Uh. Skydive Madrid is actually located in Ocaña. However, Aranjuez is the closest town with decent bars and accommodation. Just 15 minutes away. It's a great place to go skydiving. The weather is great for it with little to no cloud cover. The atmosphere the drop zone is good too with music playing with a bar and restaurant on site and friendly staff with a great sense of humor if you want to do a tandem skydive it'll cost you 280 euros or 380 euros if you have a camera person jump with you if you want to learn to skydive, which you definitely should do, is the best thing I've done with my life, you'll want to do the Accelerated Freefall Course, or AFF. This will cost you 1,850 euros at the basic level, providing you pass each level first time, which is easily done. I passed each level first time on my AFF. The price is competitive and you won't find it much cheaper than that anywhere else in the world. You must be 16 or over to enroll onto the AFF. I don't recommend learning in the UK. Student skydivers require lower wind speeds to jump, and even in the summer, in the UK you'll find yourself spending most of your time on the ground. It could take weeks or even months before you complete the course. It's worth spending a little extra to fly to Madrid and smash the course out in a week with good clear weather. Once you're a licensed skydiver, for an altitude jump, you can jump for about 35 euros at Skydive Madrid and a little less for a hop and pop. Kit rental is about 21 euros and that includes packing of the parachute too. If you have your own kit guys, it's just a 35 euros and you're laughing. I'm not going to get into how much kit costs in this video guys, but that's another story. Yeah, yo, the mothership is landed. We bring the funk to straight outlandish. We bring the funk. While it is recommended for you to do a tandem jump before starting the AFF course to get a real feel for the whole experience of skydiving, contrary to popular belief, it is not required. Tandem jumps are not independent jumps and therefore can't be logged in your logbook or counted towards your final jump total. At the chance to go where no man has. Skydiving is amazing, guys. I highly recommend you try it at least once in your life. We all know this should be Take the funk to beat bass and bump, so keep pace with us. We on a mission to retake the funk to beat bass and bump, so keep pace with us. We on a mission to retake the funk to beat bass and bump, so keep pace with us. Get your Adidas and relace them up, cause we gave you 
fair warning, now we're chasing them. Run and tell your friends the mothership is landed. Watch this dog get wet now. Ready? There he goes. <laughs> Dafty in you. Alright then, let's go. Ready? Go on and get it. In the water. He's like, no. I ain't getting it, mate. I ain't getting wet again. I'm not that stupid. After laughing at the dog, I packed my stuff up and decided we're driving to Portugal. It's the first time I've ever been to Portugal, so it's another country off my list. I'm super excited. It's an eight hour drive. It's about 20 to two in the afternoon right now, so it's gonna be evening when I get there. I think I found a pretty cool place to camp out for the night. It looks all right, I'm not sure. So I'm going to Lagos, guys. So stay tuned because I'm gonna be showing you what you guys can do if you go on holiday to Lagos. It's about 500 miles from Ocania to Lagos and it took me about eight hours due to the roads. It was an absolute killer driving in the afternoon Spanish sun with no air conditioning in my car. FM in Portugal for some reason in English they have it in Spain as well but it's Spanish Kiss FM of course but in Portugal for some reason it's English so the DJ is English and I thought oh, okay maybe I'm picking it up from Gibraltar but no nope, the guy's like it's 10 to 8 here in Portugal uh, blah 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 and he's he basically said he's in Portugal now, can anybody tell me why is there an English Kiss FM in Portugal because that blows my mind Lagos is located on the southern coast of Portugal. Where I parked while I was in Lagos was free of charge. It was a flat level dirt car park about a 10 minute walk from the marina, 15 minutes from Old Town and right next to the beach. Beaches in Lagos had some of the best sand I've felt in my entire life. Alright guys, it's morning time. I have no idea what time it is in the morning because I can't find my fucking phone because I was out drinking last night, so I might lost my phone. But I just went for a swim, my legs are killing me because I had a bad landing yesterday. And my last jump I did before I left was in crosswind landing, scraped the floor, legs are killing me. But it's a new day, so let's go check out what Lagos has to offer. There's some amazing coastline in Lagos with many beaches to choose from, including Pride to Canavial, a nudist beach. I did visit it, but nobody else was nude, so I weren't sure if I was in the right place. So don't worry, you're not gonna see my ass in this video. Other must-see places in Lagos are the Marina, Old Town, and the Fort Stotted About Town.
of me, when I travel, I like to get pissed before I sightsee. So I like to do the sightsee, and I do the sightsee, but I always do it drunk. Because if I'm honest with you, shit like this doesn't really interest me, but it's also one of those things that if I was to leave the place and not see it before I go, I'll kick myself. So i like, fine, I'll go and see it, but I'm getting drunk first. That's why I'm drinking Sam's Apple. I'm not sponsored by it, by the way, but brilliant, I don't drink much cider, but this is actually really nice. It just tastes like apple juice, and everybody, everybody likes apple juice. Fight me, and this just tastes like apple juice, but it's four and a half percent. So yeah, fucking drinking cider, walking right in the sun. It's brilliant, guys. Lagos is great, so make sure you come here. Amongst other water sports, Lagos is popular for kite surfing, something I'm very keen to learn myself. If you're a kite surfer or wanting to learn how to kite surf, make sure you check out Alvor Lagoon, located in the east of Lagos, where you'll find a handful of kite surfing schools. Lagos also has an awesome nightlife guys. If you are going to go out and experience the nightlife guys, I recommend starting at McCabe's Irish Bar in the Old Town. They got live music, it's a good vibe, and the one next door to it's good too. Something really weird happened to me when I was out. I was in this one bar, I don't remember the name of it, and I went into the bathroom and came back out and the owner went in after me. Then he came out and walks up to me and goes, you've been tagging my bathroom and you tagged my car. I'm like, what? And he goes, you go in the bathroom, I walk in after you and there's a tag on the wall. By the way, the wall is covered in graffiti. And he goes, the same tag was on my car. I was like, mate, you're off your head. I don't even know what car you drive. I've been here one, this is my first night in Portugal, are you all right? And he goes and calls the police, like not the regular police, like the military police or whatever. These big butch guys in camouflage, pink berries. Five of them waiting outside. He walks outside, he's chatting to them, pointing at me and all inside the bar, finishing my pint. Even the lady behind the bar, because it's so obvious it was you. You're going to get in deep trouble. I'm like, are you all right? Are you crazy or what? Anyway, I went outside. I'm going to sell this right now. Finished my pipe. Went outside. Police collared me, pushed me against the wall. Checked, checked my pockets, emptied my bag, looking for like a, a Sharpie or a spray paint can or something for tagging. Obviously, they never found anything because I hadn't been doing it. So the police were really nice anyway. In the end, they apologized. They let me go. The, the man, though, is crazy. I don't know what that was all about. So just be careful of stuff like that. That was weird. Anyway, guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like my content and until next time guys i'll see you on the next one now it's time for me to go and take off my girlfriend's panties because they're riding right up my ass just kidding guys i don't have a girlfriend they're my mums and you thought you weren't going to see my ass this episode how naive of you surprise